Welcome everyone to Oxygen Not Included. My name is Reiner and today we will continue building the perfect base. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps to get this video to other people. And if you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe as well. In the last video, we set up this first um, hatch wrench, which is going to provide us with meat and with a lot of omelets. Uh, so this should help getting some decent food in the joint. What we also did is create this heat shield around the base, which would, we should make sure that this all stays relatively moderate. We do have some heat generation in the base, but it's all within limits. Uh, we can take care of that and when we need to, we will. Uh, and the third thing that we did last video was make this infinite storage. So this place here can have, well, have an infinite amount of stuff in here. And because there's water here, all things in here will also get the same temperature eventually. Uh, so we will not have too hot stuff in the base. In this video, we're going to add a little bit of automation to the base. Uh, for example, here, uh, this gas pump. Uh, maybe you've seen it, maybe not, but I've been connecting and disconnecting this power cable on and off to make sure that this gas pump is only on when there's carbon dioxide here. Now we have a little bit of carbon dioxide, but yeah, this should be done automatic. So I'm going to make a um, sensor here to make sure that we detect whether there is carbon dioxide and if so, then we're going to start pumping. What I also want to do is, yeah, I know we just made the toilets, but I want to move them. Um, what you can see here is that a the washroom has a maximum size of 64 tiles. On this side, uh, side we have rooms of 96 tiles. And here we have rooms of 64 tiles. So this washroom could never hold this whole... Uh, floor. So it's a little bit of a weird spot here. I kind of made a little mistake So I'm going to move it to here so that we have um, a washroom that fills up this whole room and it's nicely flush with the rest of the build Also um, What you can see here if you look at the food, um, we have a little bit of barbecue and a couple of omelets but most of our food is muckroot and muckroot is what you get from digging the map and we will be digging the map of course a lot at some point but in this video we're not going to dig up that much so if you're not digging around much you're not going to get muck roots so i want to make sure that we're not going to run out of food i'm not sure this farm can supply all of our duplicates with enough food on the short term i know we also got this paku oh yeah that's also what we got last time we got a, a couple of paku here which will reproduce automatically. We don't have to do anything. They will just um, drop food here, which we can then cook as well, uh, which we should not forget to add here, otherwise it will not be cooked. But yeah, um, so that's, yeah, we, we want to make a small farm to make sure that our duplicates are not supplied. Typically, you also start with a farm early game. You don't immediately go into ranching. Uh, but yeah, we had so much food that we could do that um, But I want to make sure that in the long term we also are okay, and we have a lot of uh, Dirt so you need dirt to uh, do your farming and we have plenty of that. So that's what we're also gonna do um, Then also important we're going to work towards exosuit So we're going to close off this base at some point and then I want to make um a liquid lock uh, it's called to make sure that all the gases and the temperature in this base stays inside this base and if we go outside we don't bring any gases inside this core so I want to lock this off and outside the base I'm not going to put oxygen and our duplicates still need to breathe uh, so we're going to give them exosuits Exosuits will also prevent them from um, getting burned when it's too hot or having problems with uh, too cold um, areas, things like that. It's going to protect them from a lot of harm outside, also from germs, things like that. 
And finally, I'm also going to keep an eye open for our mechatronics engineer. We really need to have a duplicate that can work on the uh, more advanced uh, automation. Um, want to work on our shipping, auto sweepers, things like that. But in order to make this, we need to have a mechatronics engineer who can build this. And we need someone who can do um, operating and supplying preferably. Someone who likes those two things, that would be most optimal. Um, so I see that we have a couple of skill points. Uh, because we're working towards exosuits, uh, which I want all my duplicants to be able to wear, they need exosuit training. If you don't have exosuit uh, training, you see here, um, exosuit penalty reduction. Whenever a duplicant wears an exosuit, they get a minus six to their athletics. So they really, really slow down when they're outside. And I don't want to be, them to be slow because they will be far away from the base. So everyone who goes outside, I want them to have this training. So that's what we're going to work towards uh, in this video as well. So I'm going to give uh, Max here improved carrying too. So the next thing that we can take is this one here. For me, um, she has grilling one. Grilling two is just an additional cuisine. Uh, I don't think it really adds something else. It's just improved cooking speed. But yeah, I'm going to work towards extra training here as well. And this just makes them carry more anyway. So it's super good. So let's put it in there as well. And then whenever the points come in, we're going to use that. Um, so first of all, let's... I want them to focus a little bit on this border. Let's finish this up. So I'm going to make this a six. So that they really do that. Uh, yeah. Then, uh, research. For automation, we need a couple of things. Um, I want to have this uh, buffer gate. Yeah. This is uh, very nice to make sure that things don't switch on and off too quickly. Uh, I just want to add this to my automation. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And let's immediately also set up the toilets. So we have a lavatory here. Uh, I'm going to make it here. So let's make it four toilets and four sinks. Whoops, that's a little bit high. Like this, uh, then we're going to have our liquid pipes, which will go underneath here. As you can see, we don't have space for our um, sieve anymore, but that one is going to go in the room underneath, which will be some kind of um, utilities room. So let's put this in the roof again. Then we go down here. And from here we go like here. Then this sieve we're going to place... I want to surround it with uh, the deodorizers because this sieve is producing polluted dirt. And you can actually see that there's some polluted oxygen here. And I want this to be taken care of. So I'm going to place some deodorizers on the right and on the left. And then we're also going to move this um, liquid reservoir. We're going to move it here. Uh, then uh, we want this to first go to the sieve. And when we have overflow, go into this liquid uh, storage. Let's go back to plumbing. Uh, so it has to go in here second. Uh, so this goes here. And then first we want to go here so we make our bridge here so this gets priority and then we go in here and otherwise we go through the sieve do I want to make a bit of buffer yeah let's do that so we're going to move like this down actually this water uh, let's actually cancel so the water that's coming out of the sieve can I see that here somewhere uh, under here, water safe. So the water that comes out here, it's not mentioned here, but I think it's um, pretty hot, the water. Wait, we can see it here, of course. So if you go to the water, no, this is just a normal temperature. We don't need to um, 
yeah it's fine so we're going to just uh, use normal pipes because this water is just a normal temperature uh, we're going to make a little bit of extra buffer space so we're going to move like this okay uh, so this should be the plumbing yeah then we also need power of course for our sieve um, yeah we're going to move this down into the tile and then I'm going to move here across like this and then this and I'm going to connect this as well and then when everything is connected I can remove this here and this piece uh, so that should be a start we also want to remove this door of course uh, the pneumatic door deconstruct because this should be a wall uh, you only want your duplicates to come in via the sinks so they also go out via the sinks it's the same uh, principle as here um, so that should be that and then let's also make a airflow tile here and I also want to make an airflow tile there and there then normal tiles here and those two this is going to be our farm uh, let's make some doors as well be those and then we're going to make our farm tiles here and we're going to farm something very easy it's called mealwood and mealwood um, just uses dirt it doesn't use any water which is um, which is great because we don't have that much water we're just using the water now for our um, for our research and we want to keep it that way we don't want to use up too much of this water until we have a replenishable source so this should already take care of moving the toilets and starting the farm uh, we already started the research and yeah let's um from last thing i want to also make a little bit more copper uh, exosuits are 300 kilograms a piece and i want to have a couple of these so let's make also 10 more of these before we close this off oh i see we also have a hatch here let's wrangle the hatch and i want to dig up this here and we also have some here uh, let's also dig up this so i want to make this a little bit more tidy it's a little bit of a mess right now with the water so yeah that's also built over a like this so that we can uh, reach everything let's dig up this stuff and this also yeah this should be good one more thing i'd like to do is also move these cuts open uh, we're going to have room for eight duplicates in this module for now um, but in order to fit eight cuts as you can see i fit seven now we need to have these moved over to the left um, so yeah we're gonna do that uh, also let's make three more tables like this let's also make a flower pot here as you can see the decor is not fantastic uh, so we probably should also work a little bit on that so we're going to do a lot of stuff here um, let's make a couple of these hanging pots so we can improve the decor a little bit all right we have our buffer gate which we'll need for the automation of this here at least that's how I like to set it up uh, we need an element sensor gas element sensor we're going to detect uh, whether there is carbon dioxide or not then I'm going to use the buffer gate um, which means that whenever I detect carbon dioxide I'm going to pump for a couple of seconds instead of whenever this toggles between carbon dioxide and oxygen really quickly that this would also toggle on and on really quickly I don't want this, that to happen so whenever I detect carbon dioxide it will keep pumping for a couple of seconds uh, let's also connect this with our precious refined metal and that should already be sufficient to make sure that this only enables when we have something to pump off uh, pump away here 
In the bedroom we're going to use the briar seats which are good between 10 and 30 degrees so we need to keep our base uh, temperate. Um, atmosphere is fine so let's put that in here and then copy it over. As you can see the farm is also coming alive and we're going to plant our mealwood seeds here which we've gathered um, over time. We have some thimble reed seeds which we're going to use to make our exosuits because we need to uh, have some uh, fiber. Uh, we also have these blossom seeds but these blossom um, plants they need water to live and I don't want to spend water and also they need uh, light by the way. But I don't want to spend water. We still have so much dirt and these only require 10 kilograms of dirt per cycle. And we have a massive amount of dirt. So let's plant that there. Copy over the settings. Also, I want to make sure, because I think I uh, turned this off, that someone can farm. So I want to make this here. Uh, I don't want to do that quickly, but... Uh, I do want people to be able to do it if they really don't have anything else to do. Let's make it like this. How all about these? I need to take an eye on this as well, that they don't eat the filet raw that comes from this uh, these pacos. Uh, I want it to be cooked first. And for that, I need to set the cooking job as well. Otherwise, they're not gonna do that. Oh, I see that the toilet here is as good as done. Uh, so these all need water now and we're going to bring in the water from the other side. So we're going to move this over like this and then in order to make sure that it doesn't come back to the other side I'm going to do it like that. And let's also cut these connections. Yeah, now I want to make sure that this is built before we get into any issues. Because they need toilets and these still work because there's still water in there, but they will stop working at some point. Uh, we have our automation set up here. Um, so we need to set this to unbreathable gas, carbon dioxide. So whenever this detects carbon dioxide, this will go uh, turn on. And if it's on, it will stay on for a couple of seconds. Uh, and this will enable our gas pump. So let's now connect this again. And now this will turn on and off automatically. Let's see, uh, water is now here and also goes through. So these should be, these are still ready, but these are also ready now. It's looking good. So our decor should start looking a little bit better in these areas. Uh, but yeah, we have still ways to go. Most of it is negative. Not that good, they're not super happy with that, but yeah. Uh, let's actually add a little bit more of these crown moldings because that's the only thing we have room for to make this a little bit better. Oh wait, I want to make this out of uh, granite. Because as you can see, um, Sandstone has a decor value of plus 10% and if we go to granite it has a decor value of plus 20% So this is a little bit better. We have plenty of granite as well. So let's just make this out of granite And also on the side here We can actually also do this here Dupes are not that much in here, but still we can uh, Also make that here doesn't hurt. Let's set this priority a little bit down though. But, uh, we should be researching, I want to have this gas pipe element sensor, which we're gonna need for our exosuits. So let's put some focus on that. Um, because we want to make sure that our exosuits, they, uh, they are filled with oxygen and then our duplicates can breathe that. Um, and I want to make sure that we are only putting oxygen in them, otherwise they will be uh, damaged. So we're going to go up here a bit. Because everything that's not oxygen I want to release in this top part. And we're going to make our exit here somewhere. I guess here. Should be fine. 
And everything that's not oxygen, I want to vent there. But for that, I need to detect what's oxygen and what's not. And I need to have a not gate here. Uh, like this. Yeah, let's also work on that. And I guess I need a ladder here again. And I think I need to deconstruct this one again. Let's also start setting up this side here. So what I want to do is make a little bit of an exit here. I want to make this um, isolated, insulated I should say, uh, also on the top. And then I want to make a water lock to make sure that nothing goes through. So I'm going to make it like that. Yeah, that should be good. Let's also set the digging errands here, like this. And let's make a ladder up. Dig up this as well, and this as well. This should be our um, place where we can uh, leave. So when we detect oxygen in this pipe, uh, it's under ventilation, I think. In this gas pipe, we have an element sensor. When we detect oxygen, we will send a green signal uh, from this sensor. A green signal would open this um, vent, which we don't want. We want to close it on oxygen. So when we detect oxygen via not gate so when we not detect oxygen then we will open this vent so everything that is not oxygen will be vented out into this outside area and that's why i don't want to have this pressurized uh, i want to have a little bit more space that's why i was digging here a little bit to make sure that oh yeah we need super duper hard digging for these here obsidian uh yeah that should be okay that is also... Ah, it's okay. This is now not pressurized. Because I want to close this off um, once we've done enough with this and then we can come from the outside to here whenever we need it. But I want to have enough copper for now. Um, we can actually also look at this. These are all empty. So now we can deconstruct everything here. And also this sieve, we can deconstruct. And these uh, deconstruct buildings here. Let's deconstruct that as well. And then we're going to move this liquid to... Um, let's actually remove these exclamation points. Okay, vent uh, plumbing, liquid pipe, uh, plumbing, liquid pipe. So we want to move this liquid into this pipe. So let's go via here. Let's jump over. We can deconstruct this bridge. And then let's see, plumbing. We can reuse this pipe and connect this to here. And then deconstruct these. We have to leave the pipe connected here, otherwise this uh, reservoir will not output the liquid for some reason. So we're going to leave that connected, uh, but we do need to add another bridge here, like this. And with this, we should move all the water that is in here to this reservoir. So we can also destruct, uh, de uh, deconstruct this one. No filter selected. So here this filter, this automation, we can set to breathable gas, oxygen. Whenever this says oxygen, then we're going to send a not signal here. There's no oxygen in this pipe right now because we're not using it yet. But uh, at some point we will. Actually, we can already set up our um, ventilation, gas pump here. I want to set it near this uh, diffuser 
so that we can uh, immediately pick up the oxygen coming out from here. There's always overpressure here. So this is nice to use from here. So here you see we don't detect oxygen in this pipe, so this one is open. And when we do, this one will close. I guess we have 1185, that should be enough. So let's close this off now so we don't leak any more oxygen to this room. We don't want to pressurize this once again. So let's close it off. Let's also connect this pump with power. And I wonder if this, this will start pumping, I guess, because there's a vent here. And then we will see this in action. We will pump oxygen here. It will detect oxygen. And it will close here. And from here, it's actually not going anywhere because this is not leading to anything. But yeah, if there's oxygen in here, it will not uh, be vented out. Only other stuff will be vented out. Uh, let's actually build a couple of tiles here do I want to make this insulated tiles I really don't need to I think yeah just make it insulated anyway so we're going to make uh, a let's do it uh, about here yeah this should be fine oh wait before we do this don't do this yet um, what I wanted to do earlier, I want to make a liquid pump here because otherwise we don't have a place to pump liquids anymore. So we're going to make a liquid pump in the middle here. Uh, and then we're going to make a liquid pipe out of there. And we're also going to make a power line out of here. Are we going to make this out of this? No, it's too expensive. Let's just use this for now. Should be fine. Once we have this done, we're going to uh, close this off and then let the water in here. Nice. That was quick. Let's close this off. And then we're going uh, down here. let the water flow down all right okay so now we have this big pool i want to put this water in there also so let's dig this up uh, let's go like this and then like this and dig up this as well and research is done max is killing it uh, let's just research this here yeah should be fine let's open this here now so we can start on this stuff uh, I want to make a liquid lock here as I said I don't need a lot of liquid I just want to close this off from the outside for now okay we need to look out that we don't get too much food um, if you have food that we cannot store, actually, hmm. yeah, we should replace this deconstruct. This can store 150 kilograms of food. And if we change this for two refrigerators, we can store a, to a total of 300. Because they will not drop it in here otherwise. They will only drop it in there whenever there's uh, some storage. Wow, Max, you're going so fast. While we're at it anyway, we can set up another ranch here. Why not? Now we have plenty of food anyway. So let's make another farm here. And then I want to actually sweep this up a little bit faster than the other spots. Now we're going to clean this up again. Otherwise these will rot and we will get polluted oxygen here. And I will... Uh, uh, not but that will, won't make me happy. I don't want polluted ox oxygen in the base. And we have another principle. Let's see if we get a mechatronics engineer. Let's see. We have nails, a suit wearing, which is uh, okay. Uh, increased medicine. Uh, this is not a mechatronics engineer. We have a lot of food again. Fried mushroom, 
great uh, food. We have Liam operating supplying. It looks like Divers Lungs Pacifist. This is fantastic. Uh, Frankie, yeah, we're gonna take Liam as a mechatronics engineer. Uh, so Liam, welcome to the party. Uh, you should already have a mess table and a bed, so nice. Uh, let's actually look at the schedule. We have Liam here. Let's put Liam in this place. And then priorities. We want Liam to focus on operating. I guess farming we can disable. Let's do building. I want him to build, but we don't have anything to build right now. So he's going to do a lot of supplying also and storing. Yeah, that's that's not gonna be bad. We also have skill points. Moment, uh, we're gonna put this into. Let's see. We have a lot to learn. Actually, research is also good because that means you learn faster. Huh. What are we going to do? This is going to make him much more efficient. Let's just put it in improved carrying. Give you a head as well. All right. Uh, that's fantastic. We found our mechatronics engineer. We do need to keep him fed. Uh, that's also copy over stuff to our second farm but yeah before we start using this i want to clean everything up let's see we already have this built uh, i want to also let's wait uh, i want to make sure that not everyone can just leave if i don't want them so we're going to make a door here also, I want to set this to water, sweep only, and I want to set this to high priority. So whenever I have some water to sweep, uh, we're going to use that. So let's mop up. We only need a little bit, and this is 32 grams. Let's mop this up with a nine. And then we're going to drop this water here. That should only drop it in this small spot here. Water, sweep with a nine. Typically a water lock will fill up this whole part here and if, wait, okay, we have more. It's okay, okay, whatever. We had water to be swept. Yeah, this is already more than enough. Oh, they get also soggy feet. So this is fine. I guess this at the bottom here we can mop up again. Because uh, we don't need that much water. So this is now already preventing liquid uh, gases from getting back into the base here. So if we have some polluted oxygen or chlorine, which we have here or other stuff, hydrogen, it will never get through here because we have some water here. At some point we're going to fill this up more, but for now this is not necessary. We can already de deconstruct this here. All right. And because they don't go through a full pit of water, they don't get the big debuff, uh, which is uh, soaking wet. They only get the uh, wet feet, soggy feet debuff, which is uh, a lot less bad. This is all dug up. Let's close this off. And then we're going to start working on our checkpoint, which we're going to make here. I want to make sure that I disable this. And I'm going to start with two docks. Uh, we have a little bit of copper left over. But yeah, this one has to be <laughs> disabled immediately because this checkpoint will prevent uh, duplicants without a suit from going to the other side. And that's not what I want at this time. So now we have our um, checkpoints here. We want to make sure that our gas pipe that we prepared goes into here. Oh, 
That's not nice. Like this. And we want to make sure that our power is connected because it will require power in order to accept the oxygen in there. Now we have the oxygen, we just need suits. Uh, we don't have the suits yet, we don't have... I don't think we have any reed fiber also. Did we have some reed fiber? I guess not. Uh, do, do, do. We have some polluted, ox uh, polluted water here. But yeah, we do have some reed fiber here three times. That's pretty good. So what I'm going to do... Uh, this is gold. Let's see, I don't want this to collapse. But I want to connect this room with this here. So you can already see here that this is now nicely going into these rooms. Because of this automation here, I make sure that nothing other than oxygen will go into here so that's good and uh, now I also want to make sure that I can get to the other side again there is some slime here which is germy uh, but that is fine to dig up yeah that should be fine and this is all gold amalgam so this will not collapse under the pressure of the water I do want to set up the deodorizer here immediately to make sure that uh, any polluted oxygen that is off gassed is automatically turned into good oxygen. Let's see, this deodorizer is immediately starting. Uh, so we get rid of the polluted oxygen that is being created here by the slime. Uh, we are getting a little bit of slime lung here, but it should be manageable uh, with this deodorizer. So now we can still get back to this rock crusher and the oxygen that is here can now be used um, for here. Otherwise this would just uh, be without oxygen. Uh, I want to make this a little bit bigger. So I have a little bit more room. What is this? Gold amalgam. Yeah, let's open up this space a little bit more so more oxygen can go through. And then I'm going to work up to this uh, reed fiber because I want that Man. looking good uh, in order to make um, the exosuits we need an exosuit forge uh, Fits perfectly here. Let's let's put it here. It's 400 uh, copper. Expensive. So let's set up. Oh, we also have gold amalgam now. Nice. Uh, let's make a couple more of these. Oh, we still have copper here. We have a little bit of stress. Max is a little bit of stress. Why? What's going on, Max? Is it because of the soggy feet? It is because of the soggy feet. But it's uh, it's just 1%. Uh, low morale. Low morale? Grizzly meal? Why, do, why doesn't he have the mess hole buff? Oh, wait. Oh, this is not a mess hole anymore. Oops. We need to close this off now. That's not good. Let's make sure this is good. Well, okay, we... Uh, Briefly destroyed our great hole here, so that means they don't get the plus six buff. Uh, not good. But yeah, as you can see here, if you wear an, an Atmo suit, you get minus six to athletics. But yeah, they have a, a lot faster excavation. Uh, they have a much higher scalding threshold, so they will not burn as quickly. Um, yeah, so they are much more protected. Uh, it seems like we have another. Blue plants here, let's see if we get Pufflet Axe or Joya Seeds. So let's, let's take the plants. Alright, we're making our first Axe suit. Then we can deliver the suit. Bam. We have this suit here. Are they going to deliver it now? Or do we have to sweep it? 
Everyone is idle. What is going on? Uh, that's not good. So let's set some more sweeping errands. Clean up the base. If you guys have nothing else to do. Let's enable this building now. Because now, once we go out of here, we will have our exits. Um, I want to make sure that not everyone goes through. You can do that in the door settings. By default, nobody is allowed out, so they won't. Uh, we know Max has um, exit training, but I also want our diggers to be able to go out. Everyone else, I just don't want to go at this point. And how are Paku? 18. All 18. Wait, incubating. Fry egg. We have an egg already. So actually, let's make sure that we have. Uh, let's attack one. So now we have a Paku fillet here. We should have. So we can make sure. We don't have it yet. Wait, we killed. Yeah, cooked fish. Make sure we do this forever as well. Otherwise, once they die, they might um, not cook it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, paco filet. I don't want them to eat this. I want them to eat the cooked fish. All right. So that's also set up. Uh, so now, do we want to enable it now? Let's enable it now. Uh, so enable building. Now everyone who goes out, actually it's not necessary yet. No, we don't want to enable it. Because we still have plenty of oxygen here. They will get some polluted stuff. Um, but I guess it's fine for now. It's not super hot. It's a little bit warm, but it's not super hot. And the exosuit will only slow them down, so I don't want to use them to use it yet. But we do have it already, so that's good. Um, let's also set up some more of this. Um, and then we're just going to dig out. Uh, let's see, how are we going to do this? So what I want is for them to always have some material to work with. So I'm going to skip one spot. I'm going to do it like this and then for higher we're going to do the other spots like this and then we can dig out everything in between this way everything we dig up here will fall onto here and everything we dig out below will fall onto the spots that we leave open there so here we will be like this again this will be temporary, but I just want to have construction materials close by whenever I'm working. So yeah, let's give them something to do here. Uh, I also want to have a vertical ladder. I guess I can deconstruct this one. I don't really need this here. At least not now. Do I want this to be deconstructed? I guess at some point I'm going to fill this up more. Um, let's see. Let's just leave it for now. And then we're going to make a ladder down here. Yeah, but not, not that far. Uh, but yeah, this is for the next episode. We have a very nicely uh, and clean, but we cannot get here. This is also an issue. Uh, let's build the ladder down here so we can clean this up as well. So we have a very nicely, uh, nice and clean Santa module, we have our access suits, we have another uh, ranch for additional food, uh, we have access suits, uh, we have our toilets moved, we have added some automation to our base, so this is going automatic now instead of me having to do this manually. It is dropping down, I feel, I think it was higher here, so this is slowly moving here, and then it will be pumped into our infinite story, uh, storage, which is already close to 100 kilograms. 
Um, so that's good. This will be emptied of water. And at that point we can move to the other side. Let's actually already make a pitcher pump here. Let's make one like this. And I make one maybe like this. Like this we can uh, still make the step down. And like this we can move fire these things. Uh, it's not necessary. So yeah, that's the new core. We can also clean up this here. I'm happy with this. Um, we have a nice uh, fallout base. Fallout base. We have a nice base from which we can do our operations uh, and we will start digging out the map, exploring what is out there. Uh, we already saw a polluted um, vent here, polluted water vent, which, uh, was it there or there? There's another thing here. Wait, what is this? This is a chlorine gas vent. Okay, that's maybe a little bit less important to start with. But this polluted water vent is super useful as a uh, permanent supply of new water, uh, which we can use to make stuff, because water is very important in this game. And next time we will also uh, look into these neural vexillators. Let's see what we get from this. Oh, we have a cold biome here. That's nice. A lot of cold here. Another cold biome here. This is also pretty cold. All right. Yeah, looking good. Um, that is it for this episode. Uh, if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to do next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.